and he's quenched. That's what we do when we, we say things. Um, oh, y'all. I, I, I'm going to quit right here. He's grieved. It ain't that he's not with us because he said he'd never leave us, but he's grieved. And there's certain things he can't do for us because he's grieved. So then we got to deny the flesh, whatever that was, and we got to get back. Come here. Look at me. And we got to get back and we got to ask God to forgive us. We got to get back in good graces with his son yeah. through the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And then put your arms around me. And then we can walk again yeah. with all that's in him. Amen. It's simple as that. Yeah. But what the world and, and the devil keeps wants us to do yeah. is to yeah. Yeah. go on back over there. Get on. And go and go to go get our sin. Yeah. And then when we get done with our sin, then we go chasing after. Yeah. Yeah. Stand on your feet. That's every last one of us. Yeah. But if we would stay with the Son, He's got all your gifts, your teaching gifts, your preaching gifts, your ministry gifts, your prosperity. Y'all with me? He know who you should marry. He know what house you should live in. He know everything. He got the information about your health, the wealth, and the more time you spend with him. Come here, Mario. The bigger he gets. The more time you fellowship with him, yeah. you look up, yeah. and he done growed. Yeah. And you know how, how fast he grows? He grows as fast as you fellowship with him. There's unlimited growth to him. He gets bigger and bigger inside your life. So now come on with me, Holy Ghost. Now we go down the same road. Because <laughs> I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. See, I was a baby Christian. But now I'm grown, I've grown up. And he gets bigger than this. He gets huge. <laughs> Amen. And then it gets so big that you just get all inside of him. And then it's no longer you. Lift up your hands. It's him. It ain't nothing but God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So don't let the world fool you. The world, thank you, son. The world ain't got nothing for you. Don't stay a baby Christian. The thing you used to do. Lift your hands and let's praise him. Now I know I've taken a lot of your time, but I pray that you forget about the time for a moment and just ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life again. And however he wants to be with you, like renewing your vows with a lover, Y'all work that out. But we're going to pray for you. We're not here to condemn you. Those of you who are in the room or those of you who are watching us. I know your flesh is tired. Your flesh is weak. But your spirit is willing. And so we're going to pray right here. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come. We want to thank you for your son that you sent to die on the cross for our sins. And then, Lord, you didn't leave us comfortless. You left us the Holy Spirit. We want to ask your forgiveness as to how we've treated God the Spirit. How we've called it an it. How we've been ignorant in many ways as to the work of God the Spirit. And how we have transgressed with the Spirit watching us, being present 
But we ask that you would forgive us and then you would teach us, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Empower us. Guide us. Make us those people that we should be. Help us to understand what we have in Christ. Bless those who are watching. Bless those who are present. Bless those, Lord, who shall come into this understanding through those who are present with us here today. We pray that you will empower us to be the sons of God in the name of Jesus Christ, that we would no longer be children. We'll be able to handle meat. Oh, God, and we thank you. We thank you. Wash us with the blood of the Lamb. Prepare us for the time to come. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Forgive us, Lord, for our sins. And those who are watching who may not have received Christ, we ask you right now, Lord, that you would lead and guide them to the foot of the cross. If you're watching, we ask you to just pray with us right now. We will pray the prayer with you of salvation. Ask you to just ask Jesus into your life. All you have to do is say, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me for my sins. Wash me with your blood. I receive your son as my savior. I believe that Christ died on the cross. He was buried in the grave for me. He rose on the third day with all power in his hands. He went to heaven. He's sitting on the right hand of the Father. He's coming again for me. And I receive him as my Savior and my Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. If you're in the house, you should feel forgiven of all of your sins. Clap your hands. Pastor Lee, you come and close us out. God bless you. Thank you for coming. It's good to see my daughter, Becky. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He is the Messiah, the Word, the Rabbi, the Teacher, the Master, the Redeemer, the Deliverer, Mediator, Creator, and Judge. He is Emmanuel. He is Yahweh, Lord, God, Savior, Christ. He is Jesus. Shofar International Harvester Ministry. God bless you. Looking forward to seeing you. Tell your friends about it, amen, and continue to tune in and write us, amen, and, and praise the Lord. God bless you. You're listening to the Shepherd's Shofar International Harvester Ministry broadcast, amen. It's sponsored by the Shepherd's Fold Ministries, and we are coming to you every Sunday at 10 a.m. and at 11 a.m. God bless you.
We pray that this broadcast has been a blessing to you, and we ask you to tell your friends about it, amen, and continue to tune in and write us, amen, and, and call us, contact us, and let us know if we can be a further blessing to you. God bless you. Hope to see you. Thank you.